What happens when men stop simping? You get your respect, dignity, and masculinity back. It's as simple as that. Did I mention that women get more attracted to you? You might want to keep watching this video. This is dedicated to lovely Mason who requested this specific video on TikTok. What exactly is a simp? The definition has evolved over the years, but it basically means a person, typically a man, who is desperate for the affection and attention of a woman that he likes, that he goes over and beyond to satisfy a woman's every whim. Notice how I said whim and not need. You'll know in a second. Whim is a sudden desire or a change of mind. Need is something essential or important, like breathing is a need. Wanting you to call every second of every minute of every hour of every day is not a need. That's a whim. So if a man caters to a woman's every whim, that's not attractive. What woman would be attracted to a desperate man that she can basically control? The difference between a real G and a simp is once she no longer adheres to your creeds, once she no longer is benefiting your life in real time, once she shows disrespect for your generosity, instead of continuing to give to her, and instead of continuing to chase her, and continuing to allow her to benefit from who you are as a man, without complimenting you for who you are as a man, you stop talking to her. For the people who don't know, I'm gonna teach you how to not be a simp. If she don't follow you on Instagram, unfollow her. Unless she a, some type of celebrity, follow. If she don't message you back when you DM her, unfollow and unsend your DM. If you want to hit her and she just want to be a friend, cut her off. When you first take a girl out on a date, go to the park or somewhere free. Because you got to see if she really with you or she just wants some free food. If she really with you, she'll go to the park. You feel me? That's a good day. You know, get a little blanket out. Enjoy the air. Talk. Get to know each other. Or go hiking something. Never double text. If she don't text you back, unless you done already been with her and you feel me you already hitting her type never double text her if she want to go let her go don't give out no free validation if you're not with me you're not getting no validation i'm not telling you you look good today you last but not least any form of disrespect especially when y'all first meet chop 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 and in case you guys didn't know the month of september which has passed now but the month of september is officially no simp september so from this point on, I want you guys to remember when the September rolls around, that is no simp September. Although you should be doing this every month, right? You do, we shouldn't even have a month for this. This should be a round of the, round the clock event where you no longer simp to women, right? And uh, as every single one of these creators fe uh, said in the three clips we feature tonight, Right, uh, all great advice, by the way. Even the woman was pretty spot on, uh, which is pretty rare. A lot of these women don't want to give real world advice to guys, telling guys not to simp. Instead, they try to tell you to cater to women, to give in to women, validate women, compliment women, give all your money to women, you know, be left on the street for women, let her have a boyfriend, right? Let her monkey branch on you, better not say anything. She wants to go clubbing, you better let her, otherwise you're a possessive little man. You know, they don't want you to have any boundaries, standards, or respect for yourself whatsoever. Whereas, once you come into the manosphere, you hear otherwise, right? This is why this advice is so priceless. It's so valuable because you're not going to get it anywhere else, right? And uh, I've always said, like, for women, they're, when they want advice, they can immediately go turn on their television set. They can immediately just go right to the mainstream because they're helping women all day long. But for men, we can't do that. If you want real world advice, you have to go online, right? Because you're never gonna hear the mainstream cover this. You're never gonna hear anybody on CS, what is it, CSNBC or, you know, MSDNC or CNN or, you know, even Fox tell you to not simp to women, right? They're not gonna say like, hey guys, you know what, don't compliment her so much. Don't stop double texting her, stop triple texting her. Hey, if she's not, you know, if she's not responding to you, cut her off. They're, they're not gonna say those things. They're gonna be like, you know what you need to do, mister? You need to respect women more. You know what you really need to do is you need to up your game and go to more WNBA games, right? You need to support what, Support women in any way you can. You need to watch these woke movies that are have these female leads because if you don't watch it, you're a misogynist. I mean, it's literally gone that far. 
right? It's literally gone that far where we're now living in a world where if you don't even watch a movie with a female lead, you are technically a misogynist, right? You're some Neanderthal, toxic masculinity, having piece of garbage that needs to be extricated from the earth. I just kid you don't watch this movie. I mean, that's how far it's gone. You know why it's gone this far, fellas? It's because of too many simps out there. How many times have I told you the biggest threat to the free world right now is simps. Weak men doing nothing. Weak men in charge. Weak men in office. Weak men that are supposedly our leaders that are just completely selling us out as men, right? Completely, just complete sellouts. Selling out the patriarchy, selling out masculinity to make room for a matriarchy, to, to make room for, you know, so-called the uh, feminine imperative. All right, but it is very important that uh, you guys, if you wanna get respect, from not only women, but other men, just you need to stop simping, right? Because most guys these days can see right through it, right? Most guys can see right through what you're doing if you're trying to play this fake nice guy, if you're, you know, out there, um, you know, wearing the, uh, the pink hat and going to the uh, women's march, nobody believes you. Yeah, we know that it's just, it's part of the facade. It's part of the facade and you're just doing it for virtue signal points, right? And there's just no future in simping. Okay, I've always said that the more rare something is, the more value it's gonna have on it. So when a woman thinks of a simp, is that something in her mind that she would think is rare? No, absolutely not, right? Because she knows that there are thousands of simps out there. She already has thousands of simps in her friend zone now. Are those the guys that she's banging? No, who is she banging? She's banging the non-simps, AKA the bad boys, AKA guys with a spine, AKA guys with a backbone, AKA guys who don't cater to her every whim, AKA guys who live their lives for themselves and not for her. And this is the common theme you notice with simps is what do they do? They make women their God, don't they? They elevate women to their God. Notice that, you'll look on YouTube, watch some of these videos of simps and hear them talk about women. They're talking about women as if they are a deity. It's like, no dude, she's not. She's just a creature just like you, right? And she's on a lower totem pole than men, just from a biblical standpoint, right? From a biblical standpoint, women are supposed to be under us. So I have no problem saying that, okay, as a Catholic. I have no problem saying that, that women are supposed to be under us. That's the way it's supposed to be. And that goes for other religions too. I don't know of a single religion where women are above the men. Um, I don't know of a single, not even talking about religion, but just you know, from an economic standpoint or from a societal standpoint or from an evolutionary standpoint where women have been above men. And that's worked. It's never worked. And you'll always hear like a lot of these females talk about how, well, you know, that's because men have been in charge forever. It's like, well, you had the right to vote for a hundred years now. For 100 years, you've had the right to vote. What have you done with that, right? You've had women's liberation now for over 50 years. What have you done with that? Okay, I've all, all I've seen these chicks do with it is they're getting on social media, twerking. Right? They're getting on stage, these pop singers, they're taking off their clothes, they're half naked, they're running around with a dildo. I literally, I saw like Miley Cyrus doing that. I, it's so, it was so disgusting. Right? Her, her, her audience is comprised of like 11 year olds and she's like walking around stage with a, a half naked wearing a dildo. I'm like, wow. I mean, the, the depravity is just gross at this point. But I, I mean, that's what I see. That's what I've seen like, okay, this is your progress? Is this your Really, is this your display of progress? Because if you look at men, like, hey, yeah, you guys, men have been in charge forever. What have you done? Look around you, right? Technology, agriculture, farming, construction, architecture, art, you name it, right? I mean, 
everything you use in the modern day world was created and invented by men and we continue to progress. I really believe we would be a lot further as a civilization if we just got women out of the way. I mean, like, because really right now we've had a lot of these women today being just parachuted into like C, C level executive suites or, um, into the military or, you know, jobs where they weren't really given that job based on the fact like of on merit, right? They were given that job because they have a vagina. Right. It, it wasn't about merit. It, that means that somebody else out there, some poor sucker, um, did not get the job who deserved the job because they had to float in some woman because now the, a lot of these companies have quotas. Right. So these quotas are we're not going to hire the best talent. We're going to hire half female. Uh, we got some transgender, some gays and LGBTQ. And then maybe if we have room, maybe a couple of men. Right. I mean, that's the way it's working right now. I mean, this is why I do not. I do not hire in the United States anymore. All my employees are overseas um, because I get to hire the best talent around the world. I don't, I mean, I do have some females working for me, uh, but it's more males, but I mean, I hire the best, right? I hire the best. I, I don't hire based on the s sexual preference of somebody or the skin color of somebody, or even, you know, so much even the gender, unless it calls for that position, right? If I feel like, you know, a man can do a better job at that, that's what I'm gonna go with. Right? I just trust my gut, uh, but uh, I don't parachute anybody into any positions, right? It's all earned. So the fact they're doing that these days means we're not getting the best, right? And we're getting somebody who's just being pushed into this position to fill a quota, while somebody else who is qualified, who is more qualified, is not going to get the job. That's not equality. Does that sound equality to you? No, that's inequality. It's unfair. Right? And every time I see one of these chicks take, like, get floated in, like, get parachuted into somebody's, uh, you know, somebody's, uh, like, the president of somebody's company or the CEO or a CFO or anything like that, I'm like, oh, great, some poor sucker lost out because this chick has a vagina and he doesn't, you know, even though he was more qualified. Right? It's sad. But that is holding back progress, right? It's going to hold back progress. It's going to hold back our ability to move forward because now we're working with people who are less qualified. Okay. People who just should not be there. So in any case, I don't know. I went on that tangent about non simping. Stop simping guys. It's not going to help you. It's only going to make you look bad. As always, drop your comments below. Let me know what you think of tonight's coaching video. Anything I missed, anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below. I always love to see you guys in my comments. Always love to read your comments, so please feel free to drop your comments below. As always, this is M from The 33 Secrets signing out here. Don't forget to smash the like button, smash the subscribe button, smash that notification bell as well so that you're notified whenever I release a brand new coaching video here on Z YouTube. More importantly, guys, please make sure that if you love my work, if you love what I'm teaching here, it's adding value to your life to you want to help me out jump into seven months of mastery you're going to get a ton of value out of it this is my personal program where i teach you how to go out there and approach and close the youngest hottest and most beautiful looking women in the world i'm talking about eights nines and tens i'm not talking about single moms divorce single moms damaged women over 30 women with five therapists no i'm talking about the cream of the crop just young attractive beautiful and very classic and traditional women who are not like modern women. I teach you where to find these girls, how to cold approach them, and how to bring them into your life. I have many successful students around the world now, many of which have gotten married and had children and had families. It's crazy. With women that are, it's hate to say it, that are beyond, let's say a little a bit out of their league, to put it nicely, right? They were able to get women who were more attractive than they would normally have gotten if they hadn't been in mastery and women that uh, they uh, probably would not have found if they had never gone through my mastery program and learned my teachings, right? So I teach you this stuff and I teach you from a red pill perspective. I'm a professional pickup artist. I've been out there for the last three decades now. I've been coaching men since the 90s. So I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm doing. I know how to find these girls. I still go out to this very day. And so 
Um, I'm still fresh in the game and you're going to learn a ton and get a ton out of value out of my seven months of mastery program, right? And it's really easy to sign up. Well, right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of coaching lessons. So take advantage of it. All you need to do is click the link below in my description box. It will take you over to my website where you can get signed up right now. It just takes two seconds. So do that now and I will see you in my next coaching video. I'm out.